everyone, it's Patty. So I wanted to share with you guys some really neat resources I have found um, for this year to do with the kids to prepare them for Easter and to kind of prepare the hearts and to teach them the meaning behind Easter but also doing some fun activities and incorporate um, some curriculum and learning activities into Easter. I had hoped to start and like do a whole month, like the whole month of March, Easter related activities, but I just wasn't able to get my act together. We are in the process of buying a house and I have a three month old, so I decided to keep it simple this year. If you saw my video last year, I'll make sure I leave it linked in the description box down below. I put together a really fun day and this year I just wanted to keep it simple and um, just incorporate it into our everyday homeschooling. So let me show you the resources I'm going to be using this year. The first thing I wanna show you guys are the books I am using this year. Um, I love the Berenstain Bears. The kids really like it. Um, and to me, the Easter story is a really great um, and fun story. Then I have the very first Easter. I actually, my parents gave this to the kids years ago and I have, I haven't used it because it's really long, but I'm going to show you guys a curriculum that I found that kind of breaks it down. So I'm really excited to incorporate this into um, our our like Easter week this week because I think it's going to be a great resource. And um, it is a wonderful book, but I've never been able to use it with the kids because it's so long. And then this is just like a really fun, simple book for the little ones. God gave us Easter. Then this is a new edition. I haven't um, read this one, but I've heard wonderful things about it, and it's The Donkey Who Carried a King by R.C. Sproul. And um, I just thought this one would be um, a good book to incorporate this year for Easter. And it just kind of goes through um, Bible passages and different things, like it has questions. Um, like why was Jesus about to be crucified and things to understand the Bible. So I thought that would be really great to start incorporating also every year into Easter. And then kind of just like a simpler book, not Christ related, um, but like more nature related is An Egg is Quiet. And I thought this would be a really cool book to incorporate more nature themed. Um, and we used this last year and Leah really enjoyed it. So um, just to kind of talk about eggs and stuff like that. So those are the books. The last book um, that I, I actually am going to be using a few other books. I always incorporate the Jesus Storybook Bible and read the story leading up to the crucifixion. And then um, I also ordered a book that was recommended by the curriculum that I'm getting ready to show you guys. Um, and it's called The Garden, The Cross... Oh, I'm drawing a blank on the name. I'll tell you the, the name once I go through the curriculum. And then the last book, um, which is in the kids' room and they are sleeping, is called What is Easter? And I think that's a really cute book for little, little ones, like one, two, three years old, to kind of explain the basics of Easter. So the next activity I want to show you is I showed you guys this last year. Um, you could see like the whole day that we did, but it's just like your own resurrection egg for preschoolers. And you make your own eggs, it's on a budget, and you just collect your own items. And I just kept mine. Um, and then I have the printable that explains everything here. So I always think that's a really fun activity to do with the kids. Then I have a bag of Easter eggs. And I haven't decided if I'm going to do all 26 letters because th that might be a little too much. But I'm going to do a an Easter egg hunt. And all the eggs are going to be separate. They're not going to be whole eggs. And then the kids are going to find them all. And then my daughter, my son won't be able to, but my daughter's going to put the match the eggs together. So I probably will just do this bag, however many that is, um, because I think to do the whole alphabet will kind of be a lot to put together. Um, so I am doing that. Then I picked up this really fun uh, lacing uh, these really fun like Easter themed lacing cards from the Target Dollar Spot. So I thought that would be a cute activity for both my four year old and two year old to do. We are currently using the Kindergarten Toolkit and the Good and the Beautiful uh, as part of our curriculum daily. And in these, I do a lot of like 
Leah locating things like I'll call out a letter and she has to find it um, and so what I find to be really fun is for each holiday kind of change up the manipulatives used so I have these from last year that I saved and I get them for every season and holiday and she gets so excited every time I change these out so it's a really inexpensive way to incorporate like a holiday into your everyday curriculum so um, I, she loves these and she gets so excited. So that's something fun you can do um, to kind of locate things if, if you're playing bingo or if they have to locate letters or numbers or shapes or colors, whatever it is. It's a really fun way to do that. Or you can use these as um, counting. Um, like sometimes we'll do like, uh, I'll tell her, put two bunnies and then we write the number two. Put three bunnies and she writes the number three. And then how many bunnies are there in all? Like it's a great way to use these. Um, then the thing I'm most excited to show you guys. I am, I cannot believe I found this for the price that I found this. And I'm so excited to share with you guys. This is, I was looking and looking for something that I could print out because um, all the things online I knew I wasn't going to get on time um, because I couldn't make up my mind. I actually started looking in February for Easter activities, but I couldn't make up my mind on what I wanted. And then by the time I sat down to make the decisions, I knew I wasn't going to get anything in time. So her curriculum is Christ-centered, literature-based. She definitely has the Charlotte Mason philosophy. She incorporates so much. I was able to get this printable curriculum for $2.99. The regular price of her curriculum is $10.00. I'm not sure why she had it on sale. It might be because it's a 10-day curriculum and it's already past the 10 days. I'm not quite sure why it was such a great deal. The original price is $9.99, so I'm not sure when you guys go to look at it, what price it'll be, um, but it's definitely worth the $9.99 price, or, and the $2.99 is just a steal. So it is a printable. It's a digital download. You receive it right away. So let me just show you kind of the general outline of what you get. So I'm going to get this bound. Like all the curriculums I print out, I take to Staples or Office Depot and get the binding done. That way I can save it and it's more compact. So that's what I'm going to do. I did not print everything out for now. I probably will go back and print everything out. But for the time being, I just printed out exactly what I, I knew I was going to be using this coming week. And like I said, I am a little behind. This is a 10-day plan, and I'm just going to be um, condensing it down to um, a week's worth. So let me go ahead and show you. She kind of tells you her, um, she has the table of contents. Then she tells you her philosophy, which I really appreciated that so that I knew exactly what I was getting into, her approach to education, and all of that. It's a really, I highly suggest reading it. Then she tells you books that she recommends. Okay, so the other book that I ordered, it's coming on Saturday, it's called The Garden, The, the Garden, The Curtain, and The Cross. And I actually had this on my list of books, like of a book to buy next year for Easter. But since I purchased this curriculum and it was incorporated into the curriculum, I decided to go ahead and make the purchase. Um, so she recommends a bunch of books. Um, and then she suggests like a schedule and all of that. Then each day she has an outline of what to do. So she has like your reading planned out. She actually recommends using this book, The Very First Easter, which I already own. So I was really excited about that and how to incorporate that. And she breaks it down into pages. So by the time you're done, you've read all of it, which I think is really great. Um, and that makes it really easy for little ones. She also talks about the garden, the curtain, and the cross. Um, and then she talks about activities to do. She does have catechism here for, you, for the kids to memorize important things like who is Jesus, God's only son, scripture for you to memorize. Then also she talks about poetry, and then she has a nature study. Then she also has a craft and activity and she writes down everything you need to do the craft and activity. I was so impressed with this. So she breaks down every single day. And then she has a bunch of principles. She has some poetry that she includes. And then she also has some Christ-focused Easter basket ideas, which I thought was really neat. Some book suggestions. 
master supply list, which I found so helpful. I do not print all of them, but I did print the ones I knew I was going to use. So she has scissor skills here. I actually think, I haven't decided if I'm going to use this as scissor skills or like tracing. I'm not sure yet. Then a chicken sequence puzzle. I'm going to cut this out and laminate it. That way it's set and ready to go for the kids. Then some figures that are incorporated into the curriculum for some of the stories. She also had some lacing cards, but since I had the lacing cards from the Target Dollar Spot, I decided not to get those, not to print those out. She also has a beautiful print uh, tracing page. She does have uh, several printables in the curriculum, but I did not print out all of them because we are already condensing um, a 10-day curriculum into five days. Um, so I know it's going to be a lot. So I decided not to print everything. Um, and I could go back and print more if I want to, because like I said, it's a digital download. So I thought that was an amazing deal. I was really happy and pleased with it. I was blown away at the price. I'm definitely going to leave the link of that and all the books that I mentioned in the description box, as well as the resurrection principle, um, to make your own resurrection eggs. So I hope you found some of these recommendations helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Also, please let me know what resources, activities, um, things you use. Um, I know there were several things that as I was looking for things to do with the kids I ran into that I'd be interested in trying. So if there's some things you enjoy doing with your family, traditions you have, please let me know in the, in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!